let's take a closer look. Hi everybody, welcome to the world of mica. It has been raining non-stop the past week, week and a half here in Central Florida. And what's funny is, prior to those last couple of weeks we've had, we were in a drought. Like, we didn't have any rain for the longest time, and now, it's doing nothing but raining. And that kind of messes things up when I want to go out and film. I decided to do something today that's a little out of the ordinary as far as this channel goes. Something that I've been mentioning on my Instagram account and something that people always ask me about because I used to update on my Instagram showing different things that I collected throughout the years. So what I'm talking about is my Disney and theme park collection. I'm going to show you guys a few of my things today. Let's take a closer look. So recently, about a week ago, Abby and I actually moved into a new house here in Orlando, and this house came with an extra bedroom that I could use to put my things in because I have a lot of things, and Abby puts up with it, and I can't thank her enough for that, but I have acquired a lot of things over the years, and I need another bedroom to put the things in. Let's go look at those things. So today, we're gonna be looking at my world-famous shelf and i just got these lights that are pretty cool watch this and boom turns on i can see everything and i got one right down here as well so at night when i walk in everything's lit up it looks really cool and presentable so a little over two years ago i started collecting these vinylmation figures i didn't get into them for a while and then when i did get into them i really got into them but I only collected things that had sentimental value to me. I'm gonna show you guys a few of my favorites right now. So right off the bat, you guys can see I have a ton. I mean, like, they go way back there. My Chippendale Rescue Rangers were awesome. I found those separately, and I'm really glad I got to get both of them because I love Chippendale Rescue Rangers. And then right here, I have my little Nautilus, my Redhead, my Professor Ludwig von Drake, and one of my all-time favorite Disney characters, Humphrey the Bear. But reaching back here for a random one, oh, this is a good one. The Backlot Tour. You guys can see there's Catastrophe Canyon, there's some fire, the old Backlot Tram. If you go on the back here, it's a little piece from Catastrophe Canyon. When I saw this one, I, I had to get it because I missed that Backlot Tour. And then another random MGM one. This is the Muppets, the Muppet Vision 3D. What makes me kind of sad is the hot air balloon is, is now gone, but I have this at least. I hope they bring that hot air balloon back. This one you will really never see. This is from the great movie ride. This is actually the Anubis scene where the gangster or the cowboy goes up and gets the priceless jewel right there where my thumb is. This one Abby got for me a couple of years ago and I'm so glad we got it because I haven't seen this one ever since. But yeah, I have a ton of Vinylmation figures, as well as some Funko Pop figures here. I love this River Country Goofy that I got a couple of years ago, just because of how big it is. And right back over here, I have my little Roger Rabbit on Benny the Cab. My Rocket to the Moon figure that they sell in the Disney parks. When I first started collecting, I started getting cups, and I acquired quite a few different kind of cups including stuff like this, the Disney MGM Studios water cup, styrofoam. Love that one, as well as my Epcot Center Illuminations one. And then I started getting into collecting some of these resort mugs from the past. This one I loved because it was the Disney MGM Studios on it. But my Dick Tracy collection is pretty impressive. Let's check this out. For those of you who didn't know, Dick Tracy actually had a premiere at Disney Springs, which was the Disney Village in downtown Disney back in the day. And if you were a pass holder, you got a special invitation to go see Dick Tracy. And they sent it in this mug. And it came with this letter from June 1990. And it says right up here at the top, calling all pass holders, calling all pass holders, because you guys know in the movie Dick Tracy, it says calling Dick Tracy, calling Dick Tracy. And it's basically saying there are no tickets for this special premiere performance. Instead, theaters all across America are selling limited edition collector t-shirts with Dick Tracy logo stamped with the name of the participating theater. The t-shirt serves as admission to the film. However, patrons must wear their t-shirt in order to be admitted. So, if you were lucky enough to get one of those shirts in the mail, you could go see Dick Tracy at the premiere. And I'm pretty sure that looked pretty incredible, seeing a bunch of people walking around with Dick Tracy t-shirts going to see a midnight premiere somewhere. I'm, I hate that I missed that. And when I got this mug, all of this came inside, which was pretty cool. The only thing I wish it came with was the t-shirt. And making our way down on the second shelf here, I have a few things that I've acquired that mean a lot to me, including my monorail, my Skyway buckets here, but I really love these. Basically, I'm using my Journey into Imagination plate right now as a holder for these old school matchbooks. This one is from the Magic Kingdom, Walt Disney World. And you could have gotten this 
at the Tobacconist on Main Street, USA. I also have the Epcot Center matchbook as well as a Disneyland one for Mickey's 50th birthday. And in the center of it all is my old Epcot Center Mickey. I wish Mickey still looked like this at Epcot Center. I got this plate at Disney Springs when we moved to Florida. I fell in love with it because I moved to Florida and I'm living out my dreams living next to all these theme parks that I love. I have my From Dreamer to Dreamfinder book that was signed by Mr. Ron Schneider himself. For those of you who don't know who Ron is, he was the original Dreamfinder for Epcot Center. I have my Big Al statue, my Orange Bird statue over here, and I just picked these up. I really like in the style, as well as my Walt Disney's Living Desert book. And for a hot second, I was trying to collect a lot of old park maps, and I got this one from Spring. 1978 Disneyland. I actually never have opened this. It has a promo on the back from Return to Witch Mountain. One day I will actually open this and take a look at the map. I can just tell it's in brittle condition and I don't want to mess it up. Speaking of old Disneyland, Abby's dad actually purchased this for me. It's a Disneyland postcard set. It has 26 colorful scenes on the inside. I don't open this up anymore. I'm afraid the postcards are going to detach from each other. But let me tell you this. This is very, very old Disneyland. I want to say Walt was still alive when this was released. This is in perfect condition. All the postcards are still intact. There's no tears or breaks in any of the postcards. And when they sold it, they sold it for 35 cents. I don't know what year this is. It has Nature's Mind Train in it, so it's pretty old, but I'm very thankful to have this in my collection. And for all you beer heads out there, check out this old monorail ale coaster with the contemporary and the monorail. Was monorail ale like a certain beer you could get the contemporary? Let me know. And inside this old Fort Wilderness Resort slip that they used to hand you when you checked in that had your room key, everything else inside, I keep some pretty interesting things in here. The first one is this old Universal Studios Studio Pass. They don't make these anymore, but when I saw this, I had to get it. And I love that it says, Welcome to Universal Studios Florida. See the stars and ride the movies. Universal actually just had their 27th birthday, so I'm pretty cool. That I have a little piece of uh, history from back then. This is basically priceless. You guys can see it's a picture of Jerry Van Dyke, Dick Van Dyke's brother, in a motorcade at MGM Studios. You can tell because of the crossroads right there in the background. They used to have a parade that would have different stars and celebrities riding on the cars and they would make their way down to the Chinese theater to do the handprint ceremony. This is actually on some random person's Polaroid and I got it. Talk about a candid shot. Now I want to say this was sold at Aunt Polly's in the Magic Kingdom at Walt Disney World. It's never been actually opened. It's completely creased and flat, but you can see the windmill as well as the Mike Feint riverboat here. I want to say this is what they probably would have put like a corn dog or something from Tom Sawyer's Island, but very, very old, not merchandise, but more of memorabilia. And I love this little phantasmic postcard that I have. It has the Earful Tower on it. On the back, it's saying, thank you for being a cast member, essentially, and you're invited to come and use your main gate or silver pass to a preview of Fantasmic, which was October 13th, 1998. This is what they sent you to invite you to come see a preview of Fantasmic. And the other day, I went to Disney's Pop Century Resort, and I was telling you guys that I had this that was in the display box, and I wasn't lying. There it is, 1986. The Walt Disney Company, a little doggy bag from way back when, and it's in really, really good condition. And this is an old Magic Kingdom Walt Disney World entertainment show schedule from 1992. And opening it up, I just love how simple it is. I mean, it's very simple, very different than from today, especially the map. But one of my favorite things is the advertisement for Spectra Magic at 8 o'clock. And with the rumors that are going around that the universe of energy is getting replaced, I'm glad I have this old Epcot Center comic. It features Mickey and Goofy and everybody going and riding the ride at Epcot Center. I picked this up a while back and I actually gave my good friend Adam the Woo one as well. Glad we had these, buddy. And here's a little piece of Islands of Adventure history. This is Marvel Superhero Island Adventures. Three exclusive stories talking about the Hulk, Spider-Man, and Doctor Doom. They actually sold this in the park when it first opened. And I'm glad I got my hands on one of them. This one is in really, really good condition. I don't think the book has ever been opened. The crease on the back has never even been broken open. So I want to say no one has ever opened this. I've never opened it either. It came sealed and I don't plan on ever opening it. Well, maybe one day. And over the years I've collected a ton 
of pins and buttons. This one is probably my all time favorite. You wore this if it was your birthday. Now, birthdays at Disney World are a dime a dozen now. Everyone's celebrating their birthday, but if you got your hands on one of these back in the day, it granted you access, complimentary access from the Transportation Ticket Center to the Magic Kingdom and Epcot Center. You got to go in for free. It also says on here, this badge will also be accepted to Disney's Discovery Island and transportation to River Country. But the most amazing thing about this is, on the back here it says November of 1988. That was the year I was born. This could have been mine. And this is one of my prized possessions and the last thing I'm gonna show you guys today. This is an old Disneyland pennant that I am currently putting in a shadow box. And these right here, and this is an old Disneyland ticket book. Back in the day, you had to purchase this book and it came with X amount of tickets inside that were good for attractions. And right up here is the old date night Disneyland book. You got two admissions and up to 10 adventures for $6.50. Could you imagine going to Disneyland for $6.50? And up here I have a few of my plushes, including my owl, Roger Rabbit, my Mr. Toad, and my old figment. I'm looking forward to filling the rest of this shelf up with old school plush as well. And on my wall I put up my old Spectro Magic poster that's framed. And right next to it is my good old DuckTales flag. I'm really looking forward to the new DuckTales that's coming out soon. And I started collecting car tags. Right here I have a Mayberry one, my Disney MGM Studios one, the old school Universal Studios Florida, and a 1999 cast summer celebration of the Main Street Electrical Parade. Constantly looking for things and constantly collecting things. It's a work in progress. In spite of the weather, I'm glad we got to hang out today and look at some of my collectibles and some of my things. Would you guys want to see more videos like this? Comment below and let me know. Thanks for watching and thanks for taking a closer look with me today. If you guys would like to see more, click right here. You guys can subscribe to my channel. If you want to see the last video I did, you can click right here. It'll take you straight to that video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you on the next episode of World of Micah. Stay weird. Goodbye.